Hey there, I'm James, and once again I want to talk about the parent of motor. Many people think it provides free energy, but I don't think it does. And I think what is publicly known about the motor is uh, there's a misconception about what it can really do. There's two problems that are associated with the parent of. One I call it the golden zone, and then the two is the foreign interference with the opposite pole. Now, if you spin this rotor, you'll see that it locks into that zone. That's the golden zone. But to get it into there, you have to push it with some force. And that's what slows down the rotor. Now, the second problem is, is that you have magnets that are really close to each other, but the north and south zone are also interfering on the magnet. So the next logical step is to isolate the north or south face and maybe space them out. And that's what I did in this next variant. This one's a lot smoother. It rotates longer. It has a round cylinder around the magnets. Now you can use brass, you can use copper, you can use steel and mule metal. And you can basically shield one face pretty effectively. What I'll show you in a bit here is that you don't actually get rid zones, the north and south face. But another problem too is the golden zone once again. So I can spin the rotor into that golden zone, but it takes force to push it into there and then pull it away again because there's no switch in these magnets. So there's two ways to get around this. You either have to go analog with magnetic gates that Howard Johnson supposedly has invented. I'm not sure about that one, but you can also do something that Bandini has talked about before, and that's putting an electromagnetic coil on top of this thing so that it's accurately timed. So the magnetic coil will switch on and off, I think at 30 degrees is what he said to make it efficient. And this will actually rotate for a very long time. He claims that it's an energizer, but as far as I know, he's not claiming it's a free energy machine and that's correct. I have played around with a Mendocino variant before with a Hall sensor and that can rotate for weeks on end. It only needs a little bit of charge and it's very close to being a perpetual motion machine. They're very effective devices. What I wanna to show to you next is how these magnets interact with the magnetic viewing film. Okay, as you can see, I have three different magnets here. So I have a shielded mule metal variant. I have a shielded variant. And then I have a regular magnet. So what does this look like with a uh, magnetic viewing film. Well, basically you could see that there are white lines. And what that white line means is that there's zero magnetic strength, but the pole flips. And that white line is what is interfering with the magnets from rotating in the parent of motor. So you can see with my meter, if I look at the big one here, you'll see that it has a south end pole. But if I go away, Cross that white line, I'll get into the north zone. But at that white line, there's very little, it should be zero, magnetic strength. If I go to the shielded one, it's a little bit more defined, and that's why it can rotate longer. And then finally, this very shielded one is really defined. So as a candidate for probably the highest potential rotation, it's probably the mu metal one, but it would still stop because it has that white line. And whenever you have that white line, it means that the south pole is interfering with the north pole. Now, all's not lost with the parentive as I found some very interesting things, including the neodymium variant producing an audible frequency of around 300 hertz, which can basically shake everything apart on your table. I also found that the second variant, the shielded one, has an interesting future of spinning up to a certain RPM and basically not showing the magnetic field on the rotor. But as some of you suggested, that might have just been a magnetic viewing film being too weak to pick that up. In conclusion, the parent of has a very big problem of magnetic switching. And the only way you can bypass that is through an electromagnetic coil with a timing or hall sensor. Mike Brady, the inventor of the parentive, was charged for fraud several years ago. And there's a reason why nobody has replicated the motor, because it simply does not work in this basic form. 
But once again, I would like to know what your opinion is on this. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.